In this video, we'll go over how to create a schematic library in Altium Designer. The first thing we'll need to do is create a schematic library file. We can do this by going to File, New, Library, Schematic Library. We are now in the schematic library file with our schematic library panel open. If it does not open, go to Panels, Schematic Library. You'll notice that in our library schematic panel, we have a blank symbol waiting for us to edit. We can draw the symbol here in this workspace. We can do it by going to Place and selecting one of our drawing tools. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut P. The symbol we're going to create has 32 pins. And rather than manually inputting 32 pin entries, I'm going to use the symbol wizard. I can access the symbol wizard by going to Tools, Symbol Wizard. Let me change the number of pins to 32. And I'll change my layout style to quad side. Next, I'll open my data sheet and I have that open here. I will copy and paste this table into Excel. Next, I will copy the two columns I won, and I'll go back into Altium Designer. I will right click in the symbol wizard and click Smart Paste. I will choose Designator for the first column and Display Name for the second. After my Smart Paste, I will click on Place. Here is our symbol that we created. We can further edit the symbol by double clicking on it to bring up the Properties panel. For instance, we can change VSS to power. And again, this can be copied in from Excel, but in our case, we did not. Now, let's save the schematic library. We'll give it a name of example. And now let's create a new schematic and place our new symbol. We will need to open the Components panel. We can do that by going to Panels, Components. From the pull-down, we'll choose our library, Example. And here we can see our example component. I will drag it into the workspace, or I can right-click and place Component. 